Good evening and welcome to GAC TV News. I'm Jamie Farrell. And I'm Sam Hemrick. Thanks for joining us. This past weekend, two guest lecturers made the trip to St. Peter to initiate conversation about the topic of immigration. With the conference now complete, here is GAC TV reporter Mary Cooley to fill us all in on how to survive the land of opportunity. Thanks, Sam and Jamie. The 15th annual Building Bridges Conference kicked off early Saturday morning with performances by the I Am We Are theater troupe, exploring immigrant stories. For those who weren't able to attend the conference, I sat down with keynote speakers Dr. Paul Hilmer, author of the Hmong Oral History Project, and the ever-eloquent Kao Kalia Yang for a discussion on the Hmong immigrant experience. The Hmong were a kind of secret army in Laos, a kind of proxy army, fighting on behalf of the interests of the Lao government and of the United States until 1973 when the United States made a decision to pull out, leaving all these allies that they had recruited to the mercy of their enemies. When Kalia came to St. Paul as a part of this influx of Hmong immigrants, she literally lost her voice. But on the page I could still write, and whenever I wrote and I made mistakes, there was always a squiggly line and a question mark, and the question was always, what do you mean to say? So you send a little girl chasing after meaning, and you create a writer who dreams a big dream. Conference attendees had the chance to further explore the topic of immigration through packed workshops, volunteering, and a compelling simulation. I'm just incredibly impressed with this and, and look forward to hearing more about uh, future events and, and what new and compelling issues you'll be discussing here. When you go to school, I think so many times you get to practice at life. But this conference has not been about practicing. It's been about living life and sharing life. And the students here, like Paul has said, they've done an exemplary job. For those interested in learning more, copies of both Paul and Kalia's books are available online. Reporting for GAC TV News, I'm Mary Cooley. Thanks, Mary. Gustavus offers students many opportunities to express themselves through campus-wide communication. We have the Gustavian Weekly delivering our paper, GAC TV before campus movies, and KGSM, the student-run radio station. Here is Joko Adu, who tuned in to the voices of Gustavus. Thanks, Sam and Jamie. Have you ever wondered what goes on into the making of a radio show at KGSM? Well, I sat down with three students to find out. Our show is called the Approximately 9 p.m. Show. It's at approximately 9 p.m. on Tuesday evenings. Ian Watch is lost right before that, so we just run to the studio whenever that finishes. Sometimes we talk about things going on, like we talk about, we have talked about the uh, Lupe concert. We've talked about, um, I don't know, things going on in our lives. The name of my show is From Brooklyn to the Bay, and it's on Wednesdays from 7 to 8. We mainly play hip-hop and R&B, or like any music that we really feel like. Um, and we just talk about life. 17 listeners isn't very good. No. Mm. Be nice to have people that tune in yeah. regular basis, and people who are uh, not necessarily who you don't know. You should listen to my show because it's awesome. And you get to call in, um, which is really cool. You get to call in and make requests, and people can hear you. So, Remember to tune in to kgsm.gac.edu for our 24-hour radio station to stay connected on campus. This is Joko Talayadu reporting for GAC TV. Thanks, Joko. This past Thursday night, nine Gustavus men were challenged to impress woo and entertain Gustavus in this year's battle to become the next Mr. Gustavus. With the polls now in, let's hear from both Gustavus senior Caitlin Johnson and Mr. Gustavus himself. Mr. Gustavus is one of the Theta's signature events. We put it on every year. This is um, the third year that we've brought it back. It feels great. I wasn't expecting it at all, so I'm um, just really happy that I could participate in such a great event hosted by the Thetas. It was well attended. It was a lot of fun, and it's something we look forward to putting on every year. Congratulations, Mr. Gustavus. On Wednesday, March 24th, be sure to attend the Female Orgasm in Alumni Hall at 7 p.m. And that's all we have for you this evening. Enjoy Sherlock Holmes, and we'll see you after spring break. And from all of us here at GAC TV News, I'm Jamie Farrell. And I'm Sam Hemrick. Have, have a, a good, good one, Gustavus. Gustavus. And our final drum roll Mr. Gustavus Senior Caitlin Johnson. Thank you so Everyone wave 
Big Act TV, wave to go. <laughs>